Berlanstiner was an Austrian-born American immunologist, physician, and pathologist. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930 for physiology of medicine for detecting the major blood groups and creating the ABO system of blood typing that revolutionized the process of blood transfusion and medical practice related to it early life and education. Born in 1868 in Vienna, Austria to a journalist father, Berlant Steiner was a bright student who was allowed to study medicine when he was merely 17 years old. He acquired a degree in medicine from the University of Vienna. Lansina envisioned that the future of medicine was in research, so he preferred to become a research scientist rather than an ordinary medical practitioner. Carl Lansteiner was the first biologist to identify different blood types and to chart out blood into groups. Before him, scientists thought that the blood of every person was the same. Blood transfusion was often considered dangerous. When it did not work, it was believed that the blood from the donor clumped together in the recipient's body and resulted in the death. Lansteiner demonstrated that there are certain differences in the structure of human blood types. After working hard for almost one year testing several blood samples, Carl Lansteiner announced in 1901 that there were three major human blood groups A, B, and C, which was later named O. One year later, in 1902, Lansteiner's Three fellow scientists discovered a fourth blood type named AB. The role of Landsteiner's contribution in medicine is crucial, and thousands of lives were saved in hospital during World War I and are still being saved to this day. Blood types are used by the police and criminologists to solve crimes by examining blood samples at a criminal crime, crime scenes later life and death. Carl Lansteiner was a notoriously private person who disliked publicity and rarely gave interviews and speeches. Although much in demand, he became a naturalized United States citizen in 1929. Lansteiner died of a heart attack in 1943 while still performing his duties at his laboratory at the age of 75. He was honored with the Alaska Award in 1946, three years after his death.